The current COVID surge is overwhelming hospitals, especially in Metro Manila. Over the weekend, new daily cases spiked with a new high of 26,303 new infections in a single day. Of the 16 DOH hospitals in NCR, 8 or half are already at critical levels, meaning they are 85% or more occupied. Two are already past full capacity and three are at 70% or high-risk capacity, but officials admit that the situation on the ground may be worse than the numbers on the board. Dr. Bernadette Velasco, operations manager of the One Hospital Command Center, said the calls they receive increased by 500% this September compared to the start of the year. Um, sometimes we really can't see any hospital po, no, para dun sa patient that, that, a hospital that can accept the patient. Half of the severe and critical cases they receive do not get a hospital bed immediately. These patients have to wait several days to even a week. We monitor the patient and endorse the patient if nasa bahay siya. We endorse the patient to the Beaufort or um, Barangay Health Emergency Response Team. Since Thursday last week, occupancy rates in intensive care units or ICUs have been on a steady rise. In the national capital region, ICUs are already at 78% occupancy. Dr. Velasco admits that some patients have died at home before they could even get into a hospital. The Philippine General Hospital, the country's biggest COVID-19 referral hospital, is already beyond 100% capacity, yet they still have more than 200 patients in their wait list. This week, the country shifts to a new system of granular or targeted lockdowns. Health officials are pinning their hopes that the granular lockdowns would help ease the growing pressure on the healthcare system. I'm Jacob Lazaro and we are One News.